With more and more homes having the latest technological equipment, often including two or more computers, home networks can easily solve the problem of arguing over who goes on the internet when and the constant disconnecting of your printer from one PC to another. The solution is to network your home computers, and it's not as difficult as you might think. Here's the Gadget Show guide to creating a home Wi-Fi network. The core of your home network is the wireless router. I'm using the Belkin N1 Vision, but there are many different types available and you need to make sure it works with your format of broadband, whether it be cable or ADSL. First, you need to set up a wireless router. This Belkin, like most new routers, comes with an installation CD for easy setup. Just follow the on-screen instructions. You'll also need a wireless adapter for each system connecting to the network if they're not already Wi-Fi compatible. In this case, I'm using a USB stick. Just install the software and plug it into the USB port on your PC. Now your computer is wirelessly connected to your router. You can buy Wi-Fi enabled printers and external hard drives, but if your existing kit is wired, then the easiest way to connect them to your network is by using a network hub like this one. The network hub allows you to connect multiple USB devices over your network by connecting directly to your router via an Ethernet connection. You simply connect the hub to your router using an Ethernet cable, then connect your external hard drive or printer to the USB ports. Once all your computers are hooked up to your router, you just need to create the network. To do this, you click the Start button and go into the Control Panel, select Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Centre, and finally, set up a connection or network. You'll see the link to set up a wireless router or access point. Click on this and you'll get a wizard, which will then walk you through the process of adding other computers and devices to the network. You just simply select the ones that you want to add by clicking on them. There you go. The icons of all the computers and peripherals that I have selected are showing up here on my network. And if you want to share files and folders between the different computers on your network, all you need to do is set up a local area connection between them. To do this, you need to go into the network centre again. Make sure your network location type is set to private and that the network discovery and file sharing are turned on. So now you have access to all the other files and folders on someone else's computer in your network, allowing you to share documents without having to go to another room. I can just open the folder and, for example, play music that I want to listen to. That's about it, really. I can access all the files and folders from other computers on my home network, print wirelessly and save my data to the external hard drive. 